Hey everybody and welcome back to another Crack and Packs video. I am your host, Mr. Bevers. We're going through the last third of this box today, Innistrad, original Innistrad. There it is, the last third of the box. Woo! We're getting in there, we're getting in there. Now, we've we've opened all of these live on Twitch and we've done them all in a row. So if you want to watch the box unboxings live, check out my Twitch channel, Mr. Bevers. Uh, twitch dot twitch slash Mr. Bevers. And that's my Twitch channel. And you can come check out the openings live where I do everything all right away. So if you can't wait till the YouTube video comes out, here you go. You can watch it all live right now. Let's get right into things. We're looking for that Snapcaster or that Liliana. Um, we're not sure if we're going to find a Liliana, to be completely honest, due to the fact that we've opened four Mythics in this box already. But uh, we'll see what happens. Okay. So that was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we got a foil in this pack. Or we should. We should have a foil in this pack. Spectral Rider is our first uncommon. Curse of the Nightly Hunt. Rally the Peasants. It's an uncommon we haven't seen yet. Creatures you control get plus 2 plus 0 until end of turn. And has flashback for a red and 2 colorless. And our rare here is a cha uh, Charm, ba Charm Breaker Devils. My goodness. There it is. 4-4 four, four for 6, but at the beginning of your upkeep you can return an instant or sorcery card at random from your graveyard to your hand, and whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, they get plus 4 plus 0 oh until end of turn. There's the 5-5 five, five flying demon token. Very good, very good. And we got an Ulvenwald Mystics as our flip card. So, 3-3 three, three for 4, 2 green and 2 generic. At the beginning of your upkeep, you have no spells, you flip it. It turns into a 5-5 five, five with pay a green and regenerate it. Ooh, a 5-5 five, five with regenerate. Not bad. And our foil, there it is, a hysterical blindness. Little foily foil. You can go right there. Let's see. Can we get there? Can we find a Liliana or a Snapcaster Mage? We already found a Balefire Dragon. And a Stony Silence, which are some of the pricier cards in the set at the moment. So maybe we can get there. Would be nice to see a Snapcaster Mage since he's only rare. He's only a rare. Hamlet Captain. Battleground Geist. Intangible Virtue. That's our first copy of Intangible Virtue. I remember this card being a stellar card in this set due to the fact that all the spirit tokens you can make, all the human tokens you can make, all the vampire tokens you can make, and all the token creatures you have get plus one plus one in Vigilance. Back from the Brink is our rare here. So, two blue, four generic. Exile a creature card from your graveyard and play, pay its mana cost. Put a token onto the battlefield that's a copy of that card. Activate this ability only any time you could cast a sorcery. And it's an enchantment, so it stays in play. So it lets you basically do that and just get all your creatures back from your graveyard. Um, which is kind of cool. But they're tokens. Well, actually, that works well with Intangible Virtue, right? Interesting. Interesting little thing. And our flip card is a Thraben Sentry. And we have a foil here, so let's... You know, turns into Thraben Militia, fine. And our foil? Another foil rare, Army of the Damned. There it is. Is that a mythic? It's a foil mythic. We got a foil mythic. Wasn't a foil Liliana, unfortunately. Foil black mythic, but not Liliana. Darn, almost got there. Almost got there. Still, not bad, foil mythic, can't complain. Army of the Damned, pay three black, five generic. Put 13 2 2 zombie creatures onto the battlefield, and you can flash it back. And you can flash it back. So there it is. We'll put that guy over there for now. Little foil mythic guy. Ah, uh, where is he? Is, it, is he easier to view here? I guess he's a little easier to view there. That's fine. My hands are always shaking, you know? Burning Vengeance. Lumberknot, Lantern Spirit, and our rare here is an Elder Laurel of Laurels. 2-3 three for 3, and pay 4 mana. Target creature gets plus X plus X until end of turn, where X is the number of creatures you control. And our flip card is a village of uh, Villagers of Estwald.
Bitter Heart Witch. Make a Wish. A new, another uncommon we haven't seen yet in this box. And then Abattoir Ghoul. 3-2 first strike. Another Mythic. Reaper from the Abyss. Wow. So we got five Mythics in this box. That's probably the last Mythic we're going to see. That's my guess. The wrong Black Mythic. But still a Mythic nonetheless. Puts our count up to five. Technically six if you count the foil. Can't really complain about that. Six, six, flyer for six. Three black, three generic. But it has Morbid. This is the card that plays in my buddy's Death Clock deck, where it's basically sacking Eldrazi tokens to pay for your cards, and then also triggering Morbid that lets you murder other things. So there you go. A nice little mythic there. And a Tormented Pariah as our flip card in that pack. So there you go. We're up to five mythics. Six if you count the foil. That's a high mythic box for Innistrad, I think. I'm pretty sure that's pretty high. Desperate Ravings. Falcon Wrath Noble. Gallows Warden. And our rare here is an Angel of Flight Alabaster. There it is. <laughs> and we... Yeah, okay. So the, the lands go on the outside, which is interesting. And the tokens go in the middle. So Reckless Waif as our flip card. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. All right. Eight commons. So we got a foil here. Diagraph Ghoul, Murder of Crows, Intangible Virtue. Actually, Murder of Crows is an uncommon we haven't seen yet either. 4-4 uh, four, four, Flyer for 5, 2 blue, 3 generic. And whenever another creature dies, you may draw a card. If you do, discard a card. Let's you go, go Luton. Let's you go Luton. Intangible Virtue. And we got a Kessig Cage Breakers as our rare here. It's a 3-4 for 5, a green and 4 generic. Whenever Kessig Cage Riggers attacks, put a 2-2 green wolf creature token onto the battlefield, tapped and attacking for each creature card in your graveyard. Can make a lot of wolves if you're doing the right deck, I guess. Ooh, Magic Tactics. I don't think that's... Oh, there's a code. If anyone plays Magic Tactics, you can earn a Sarah Avenger. There you go, everybody. You're welcome, I guess. I don't know if that's even a game still, to be honest. Screeching Bat as our flip card. And our foil. A f another foil rare. Wow, we opened three foil rares in this box. We opened three foil rares in this box, and one of them was a mythic. A Hinterland Harbor, a foil buddy land. I'm not sure it's worth much, but it could be worth something. Let's see. What's, what's the regular... Hinterland. Okay, Hinterland Harbor by itself is normally $6 Canadian. So, foil, yeah, you're looking around 10 bucks, maybe? Maybe around 10 bucks? Not bad. Can't really complain. Wow. <laughs> Sharpened Pitchfork, Scourge of Gaia Reach, Hollow Henge Scavenger, and an Undead Alchemist as our rare here. So there you go. A 4-2 four, for 4, blue and 3 generic. If a zombie you control would deal combat damage to a player, instead that player puts that many cards from the top of his or her library into his or her graveyard. Whenever an op a creature uh, card is put into an gr opponent's graveyard, from his or her library, exile that card and put a 2-2 black zombie creature on the battlefield. So essentially, you're milling them instead of dealing them damage, but you're getting more zombie tokens for every creature that they mill, which is pretty cool. Uh, I remember building a zombie deck around that back in the day. And our flip card here is a village ironsmith. We got five packs left. Five packs left. Open up there, pack. Come on. Let's get in there. Okay, we got looks like we got a foil here. Midnight Haunting. Demon Mail Harbrick. Har Harbeck? Harbrick? 
I don't know how to pronounce that word, apparently. Apparently, another word I don't know how to pronounce. There's a lot of them. There's a lot of them. Demon male, Hubrick. Hubrick? Harbrick? Demon male, Hubrick. I don't know. Who knows? People know. Lots of people know. Just not me. Murder of Crows? Hauberk. Hauberk. Okay. Interesting. Uh, Mold Graph Monstrosity as our rare. An 8 8 4 7. 3 green, 4 colorless. Trample. And when uh, he dies, exile it and return two creature cards at random from your graveyard to the battlefield. Nice little thing there. We got another flip rare. So there's another flip rare. Daybreak Ranger, which turns into uh, a Nightfall Predator, which is a 4 4. And it has a red tap it and it fights target creature. So there you go. And our foil here is a Mausoleum Guard, 2 2. When it dies, you put two white spirit tokens onto the battlefield. There you go. Some of these packs open like nobody's business, and other packs don't like to, you know. Spider spawning. Another. This is another uncommon we haven't seen yet. Uh, so for five mana, you get a green, a one-two green spider creature token with reach, and you can flash it back for a black and six. Village cannibals. Another rakish air, and our rare here is a nevermore. I think this saw a lot of play uh, a while back. Um, but I don't remember in what deck. But anyway, um, as Nevermore enters battlefield, name a non-land card. That non-land card can't be it can't be cast. We have a civilized scholar. Flips into that big five-one monstrosity guy, and we got a foil a blazing torch. Look at that guy, blazing. Blazing. We got three packs left. The prayers for Snapcaster are starting to roll in on Twitch. Here we go. Would be nice to see it, but I mean, hey. We've already opened, you know, three foil rares. And we've opened... Uh, sorry, two foil rares, a foil mythic. We've opened five mythics, six if you include the foil total. Like, it's pretty crazy. Uh, Trepanation Blade, Galvanic Juggernaut. Bramble Crush, another mythic. Holy moly, that's six. That's seven mythics in this box if you include the the foil. Olivia Valderin, there she is. I don't think she's worth a whole heck of a lot. Uh, you know, she looks like she's in the not eight dollar, nine dollar range. Not bad, not bad. There it is. So a three three flyer for four. And you can ping things for one that turn them into vampires. And it puts a counter on Olivia. So she gets bigger as she pings things. And then you can pay two black and three generic and gain control of a vampire. So there you go. And uh, we got another flip. Alvenwald Mystics. We got two packs left. Two packs left. See, some of these packs like open like nobody's business. And other packs are just like... A disaster to open. Like, look at this pack. It just kind of, like, ripped all the shreds. It ripped Olivia's face off. Alright. It's obviously off, yeah. So, Slayer of the Wicked, Sharpened Pitchfork, Tribute to Hunger, and a Sturmgeist. A Flyer. Star Star Flyer for five. Uh, that's uh, power and toughness are equal to the number of cards in your hand. And whenever it deals combat damage to a player, draw a card. So there you go. And we got a Grizzled Outcasts. That bit 4-4 four, four, that turns into that big 7-7. Seven, seven. Last pack. This is our chance at a Snapcaster or a Liliana. The fact that we've opened so many mythics tells me that we probably won't see a Liliana, but people in chat are saying don't don't put Liliana out of the question because the mythic count has obviously been crazy in this box and obviously not a normal print run. Okay. Fiend Hunter. 
full moons rise and rally the peasants. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna spoil the rare last. Let's do the rare last. Yeah. Tormented Pariah as our flip card. Oh, we got the little homunculus token. All right, last rare. Last rare. Put it right there. Let's see what it is. A Moorland Haunt. No Snapcaster. No Lilian. But we opened seven mythics two foil rares, and we opened a number of the buddy lands. So, you know, not horrible. Not horrible. <laughs> womp, womp, womp. Ah, uh, anyway. Hey, I had fun. I hope you guys had fun. That was, that's the whole point, right? The whole point of this is, I hope you enjoyed the unboxing. You know, it's, it sucks that we didn't get, uh, a Snapcaster or a Liliana, but hey, Modern Masters 2017 is right around the corner, and if those cards are reprinted, maybe we'll see them then. I will be unboxing a fair number of boxes of Modern Masters 2017, so stay tuned for those videos as well. Um, and, uh, you know, if you are watching on YouTube, if you could like and subscribe, it would be greatly appreciated. I would really uh, be thankful. Um, and, uh, you know, leave a comment below and let me know what you thought of the box. Let me know what your favorite card was from the Innistrad block. What was your favorite deck to play? Let me know. I, I'm curious. I would like to know what anybody was playing back then and what you're, what you're saying, right? But um, don't forget that all of these cards are available for purchase on, a, on my nerdvanastore.ca website. It will be linked below in the description. Um, and if you're interested in getting discounts to that site, you can go check out my Patreon page where I have tiers that allow you to get discount codes every month so that you can order cards and get them even cheaper so cool cool so anyway thank you guys for watching and as always may your pulls ever be better thanks for watching guys